Hi everybody, Steve here again, and we're heading to World 6 of Kirby's Dream Land 2. This world is known as Cloudy Park. It's the arbitrary uh, sky world for this Kirby game. Every Kirby game has one, and this is this one. Cloudy Park is an interesting level. It's orange, which always kind of blew my mind, but I suppose when you're a giant mountain in the sky, these things will happen. Uh, as you can see, I still have the fish from the last uh, the last episode because I'm just hardcore like that, and I'm gonna run around with the fish because that that's how I roll. That that's how I roll. Like, what do you want? That's how I roll. And uh, you know, Klein Klein, aka Steve, is uh is pretty awesome. He he shoots light bulbs from his mouth. I, I don't know what else to say about the guy. He's he's just the greatest buddy you could ever have in a Kirby game. But, uh, yeah, so, we're, uh, we're chugging right along. I really don't like that thing. Stupid thing, it's like, I took your animal, buddy! What are you gonna do about it? Nothing. That's right. Absolutely nothing. You're screwed. I'm just like, you monsters! You monsters! How could you? You took my best friend in the entire world! They're like, ah ha ha, ah ah ha, ah ha, ah ha. I'm on plateaus in the sky. <laughs> look away, look back. I'm on a horse. <laughs> uh, yeah, anyway, so this world is getting far more difficult than the past worlds have been. Or I, that's what I'm finding so far. Um, I'm really surprised at how the difficulty is ramping up. They're also adding more mini bosses per level, or we're seeing, you know, actually seeing a mini boss in every level. This guy I'm going to try to pwn with my cutter ability because I'm hardcore like that and I don't screw around. But, you know, we do what we can kind of thing. I have the umbrella, which is cool, but if you're Klein, it's not all that useful, really. You know, because, as you can see, whoop, I had to jump. Uh, uh, jump, jump. Yeah, a, a fish in the sky is kind of an oxymoron. I don't know what else to really say about that. There we go. Uh, yeah, it's it's been a fun ride so far. I'm, I'm glad. Supposedly, there's only one more world left, and then we can uh, and then we can put this baby to rest. And I will be happy when we put this baby to rest because personally, I'm I died. God, God darn it. I die. Yeah, I'm not very good with Klein in places like this, but you know we'll do what we can. I'm uh, I'm just more impressed with how these Hell Laboratory programmers decided that it was a good idea to start the game super easy and then you know lull you into a sense of security and then just hammer you, hammer you like the nail that you are. So yeah, I'm fighting this guy again. Gonna get Klein, A.K.A. Steve. And uh, then we'll continue on our journey of enlightenment, as it were. I, I don't really know what to say to you guys about this stuff. Like, last time there was all this craziness going on, and, you know, Larry was getting screwed out of a concert, which I don't know if they ever if they ever came to an agreement on that issue. Like, if, if, his, if his roommate ever got his money back or what. But that was that was pretty weak sauce. I was I was fairly uh, I was fairly ticked when I was told about it. I was just like, seriously, seriously, this this is what happens when you I died again. Oh my God! Why do I keep dying? Why do I suck so bad? I think I need a uh, I think I need to sit back farther from my microphone because I'm totally maxing it out. Ah. <laughs> You, uh, yeah, that was kind of funny. Anyway, um, so, yeah, I, my life has been absolutely boring this last couple weeks, or last week, or whatever, since we, we last, we last, uh, you know, talked to you, our adoring fans, ha <laughs> ha, I just love how I use the term adoring fans, we don't have any fans, nobody's watching these, seriously, if anybody was watching these, we'd be getting, we'd be getting hate mail. Because we're, we're stupid bastards. But nobody watches these. The only people who watch these, well, the only person who watches my stuff is Larry. I mean, come on. Nobody's watching this. If somebody was watching this, they'd be sending us hate mail about how we're, uh, you know, 
we're misogynistic, uh, you know, man, he-man women haters or something. I don't even know. I'm just, you know, I just believe that none of you are actually paying attention to what's actually going on. Because if you were, you would know that I'm certifiably crazy. I like that. I really do like the owl. He's he's pretty cool for a couple things. Uh, and I just keep wondering. I keep wondering when all this pain will end, and I can I can hide, hide, or I can run, run so far away. Yeah, good job, good job, Steve. Just just screw the pooch there. You you pile of putrid beaver puke. <laughs> I cut myself putrid beaver puke. <laughs> Uh, anyway, so, you know, it's just, you know, kicking butt, taking names, doing what I need to do to win the game. And I've already finished, well, now I better go grab that. There we go. And I've already basically finished uh, level one. That went fast. Now I just have to do that five more times and beat a boss, and then I can go to the next world and, and be totally, totally awesome. <laughs> or totally, totally outrageous if I was Gem of the Holograms. Oh, God. Stop referencing bad 80s cartoons, Steve. I'm so terrible. I can't help myself. <laughs> I got popsicles. I'm on one of those old time uh, popsicle trucks that has that nice tune that all little boys and girls like. Da 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 da. Da 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 Herbert the Pervert. Good God. That's the only thing I remember from Family Guy and him, but it still makes me laugh. That and... Get back here, you piglet son of a bitch. Now you just trying to piss me off. <laughs> ah, I'm easily amused by my own stupidity. <laughs> I'm like a dog. Oh, dog. How I love you, dog. You are, you are the creature to model your life after. Sleep, eat, fart, <laughs> lick your balls. Ha ha ha! Oh god, I'm easily amused. Yeah, I was talking, I was talking to Larry, and I was like, Larry, Larry, this episode, it's gonna be so long, and I, I don't know, I don't know how the heck I'm gonna keep myself entertained and the people entertained for long enough to actually get this done. And then the people won't be like, God, God, Steve, you're so boring. Why are you so boring? So, uh, yeah, that's what I'm doing here. Trying to, you know, keep myself entertained, keep you entertained. And keep the people of America entertained. In, uh, uh, excuse me, in America. Where your LP commentator belches like a pro. Well, actually, no, I've, I got nothing on Nintendo Capri Sun. Now, that's a belcher. Oh my god. I've never heard a man belch like that. That was ridiculous. He's just like, oh yeah. Uh. I'm just like, damn. 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 But, uh, yeah. So we're uh, chugging right along through World 2, or uh, Level 2. And uh, I, uh, I, I really want to know where the, uh, the Rainbow Shard is hidden in this world. Because I have a strange feeling that this is the level. And I'm gonna have to come back later after I figure out the process I have to go through, go through in order to get the rainbow shard. Or whatever the hell they're called, I don't even know. Stupid, Mac stupid MacGuffins. <laughs> you haunt me in my dreams. In my dreams! But, uh, yeah, so, kicking butt, taking names. Fighting rock monsters. Yeah, you heard me. I fight rock monsters. How does that make you feel? Pretty impotent, I'm sure. I know that's how Larry feels. Ow! Oh, I went there. I'm terrible. Ow! Oh, snap! I should probably, uh, I should probably, you know, stop yelling at the screen because it's not how well-mannered LPers act, right? Right. 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 Yeah. So this is definitely, this is definitely the world where it'll be. I have no clue. Oh, I need the electricity ability, or the shock ability. I don't have that. I have to probably go, I probably have to have the bird to go that direction. I have something in there, but I don't have anything, so I'm just gonna finish the level. Hey look, end of level already. So level two is done. It's pretty crazy. 
I don't know what else to say other than damn these levels are going a little faster than I thought they would so onward and upward to level three yeah I need to go level three as I'm sure you just heard there's a slight gap there I had to stop for a minute so that I could um, take care of something that came up but uh, yeah, you'll have. To, I apologize. I should probably have edited that better, but I really, or I probably should edit that better. But I really just am not that. I'm just gonna get it as close as I can, and we'll call it even because it's like half a second off, and I'm literally too lazy. Yes, yes, Steve is too lazy to fix it so that you would know that I just did that. But I told you, so there's no point in hiding it. So yeah. I'm uh, moving right along. And uh, yeah. So this, this level is a little weird. It's water in the sky. I don't know if these are rain clouds or what. But uh, they're, uh, they're pretty cool. I don't know what else to say about that. This, this area takes me off to no end. You, you have to clear the... You have to clear the... Uh, you have to clear the blocks and move in closer and you constantly are circling around and around and around and around in order to get there and it's very 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 annoying so I decided to get smart and just let it take me around every time I went around I would destroy the blocks so that the next time I came around I could get in and I just keep doing that over and over and over again to infinity and beyond. No, I'm not Buzz Lightyear. And yes, I'm a plagiarist. I'm a terrible, terrible human being. Quick, somebody flog me with a wet noodle. Ow, snap, wet noodles. <laughs> I'll take the linguine. <sighs> I'm so easily amused. I'm still trying to figure out why, uh, why Larry's not uh, updating his Pokemon TCG LP more often. I, I personally, I personally think he's just a lazy bastard that doesn't wanna doesn't wanna face up to the fact that he just he's just not willing to put the time in, the massive, massive amount of time that I put into these. <laughs> I don't put any time into these. Who am I kidding? <laughs> I'm kidding myself. How now? Oh yeah. So uh, now the fun part. I've got an ability that makes me fire sideways, but the last set of blocks is up and down. Oh, <laughs> that works too. Ah oh, man, I am just dumb as rocks. So we'll get through here and we'll move on to the next area. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm eating blocks. Oh, I'm gonna die through here. I know I'm gonna die through here. But at least I have spikes. Spikes? Yeah, spikes. This doesn't seem so bad. It's a little weird, but it's not like terrible. Oh no, Larry's messaging me. He's trying to build, uh... What is he trying to build? He's trying to build the perfect mousetrap. Oh no, self-references. How oh, no! What are those things? Are those, like, Mummy Gibdos flying headball thing guy stuff? Those are weird. We should eat them. I wonder if you can eat them. Ugh. Nope, maybe not. Nope! Oh man, they're like the they're like the stupid things from earlier that explode, but they don't explode, they just follow you. And then they try to steal your soul. They try to swallow your soul, swallow your soul. I uh I'm easily amused by this game and I'm like, oh my god, we're already done already? Man, that's already the halfway point. And we haven't even scratched the surface of this game. I'm totally depressed. Like that's that's the halfway point of this world. So I guess now we move on to world four. And from world four we'll go to world five, five to six, and then I'll try to capture the rainbow shard. The rainbow shard. This this looks like this is gonna be a stupid world. Oh yeah, this is gonna be dumb as rocks. You can't multi-line. What? Larry's talk Larry's messaging me and I don't know what he's saying. Oh my god, he's trying to do something. He's got a he's trying to build the perfect mousetrap in another game and 
Um, he's apparently screwed something up. I don't know what it was. Oh, he fell. That's hilarious. Fail, shift, A. I can't multi-land? I thought it was shift, enter. Oh, he's trying to, he was trying to, he was trying to fill in some stuff. That's funny. I'm probably gonna die against this guy. Oh no, I'll, I'll beat him. Well, maybe I won't. No, I'm not gonna beat him. I remember this. Yeah, this guy always kills me the first time because I forget how you're supposed to fight him. Yep. Yeah, I'm gonna die. Yeah, this guy's, this, these giant spiky things, they're, they're a pain. Uh, maybe I'm gonna beat him. Mm -hmm. oh, no, I'm gonna beat him. Yep, he's he's done. Yep, there we go. Spiky, yay! I'll take the owl and we'll get out of here. Huh? Huh? Oh no! No, oh, this is gonna suck. It's a si it's a diagonal scrolling level. Ow, slam! Ow, slam! Oh, that was a that was a that was a troll bait move. You see that? That rock just dropped out of nowhere. They are trying to screw with us, monsters. <laughs> we did it for science, you monster. Oh man, I never get sick of portal references. Never. However, I probably should stop referencing a game that uh, is no longer in the vogue. What's the next new game? Is it Skyrim? Is that going to be the next, like, big PC game? I know I'm looking forward to the PC version of, uh, what is it, Batman Arkham City. I never actually played the first one because I, uh, watched a guy Let's Play the entire thing in, like, ten hours. Like, his Let's Play was ten hours long, but it was a, like, he played it straight through and then just had, like, a running commentary going, and... Yeah, it was, uh... It was, uh, it was pretty lame, actually, but, you know, so I, after I watched it, I realized the game wasn't that long to begin with, and I had just seen the entire game, because the guy did, like, the 100% run or whatever, and I was just like, damn, so now I just saved myself 50 bucks by watching somebody else play through the game. And I probably missed out on the fun, but, yeah, you know, it was a fair trade-off. I didn't have to spend money. <laughs> Larry's still trying to do stuff. It's so funny. It makes me laugh. Tee hee tee hee. This is this is gonna be a good area. I think. Look at that, a maximum. Three, I've got I've now gotten two health health recovery things and two one ups. This is nuts. Dude, I'm gonna have a ton of lives going into the next area. Look at this. Oh my god. You've got to be kidding me. What? What? This, this is nuts. <laughs> That's a lot of nuts! Seriously, did you just see that? They got like five one-ups in like a minute and a half. That's just crazy. I'm really wonder, uh, I'm really wondering how you, uh, you complete this game. Well, at least we got, or at least we're in a world of five now, or level five. I gotta stop calling it worlds. They're not worlds, they're levels. I'm in the world of blah blah blah. What is this? This is Cloud Park? Cloudy Park? Yeah, I don't know. I keep telling myself that this game is gonna get more interesting. It never really does, but, you know, a guy can dream, right? A guy can dream. But, you know, we do what we can. We do what we can. I gotta see here. Uh, that, that should be good. Alright. I'm, uh, I'm constantly, uh, you know, trying to make sure that I sound decent, as it were. I'm not a robot. Boop, boop. <laughs> Energy cells are low. <laughs> oh, God. This game is just, just so silly. I wonder if I'll fight Krako at the end of this world. That would be kind of cool, I guess. I don't know. I just really, I just really hope that, uh, you know, I can finish this world and move on with my life. I wonder what I should play next after this. I should talk to Larry about that and see if I can think of something kind of fast. We're thinking what well, we were talking about. We might, uh, we might do a, 
we might uh, we might do a like a second a secondary co-op quick a fast secondary co-op let's play that we could you know get through something fast like over Christmas break because I'm not gonna be originally I was gonna be going to class over winter break but now my uh, now after talking to some people I'm not gonna be doing that so I'm gonna have a month off between December and January in which I could basically spend my time just loading up as it were I can't believe it's already what we're just over two weeks from Halloween and it feels like the semester's just started and I'm already like you know it's already gonna be Christmas it's gonna be Thanksgiving and then Christmas and spring semester and oh my god I just really need to do uh, just really need to buckle down hit the books all that fun stuff this game is just I don't even know like I, I've run out of things that are interesting to say about this level this is just kind of the, just a level here you know filling space taking up our time and generally just ticking me off and I keep wondering if I keep trying if I'll eventually get something cool for it like oh I don't know a sword of ultimate power no they wouldn't do that in a Kirby game but that'd be cool right yeah Nothing down there, Steve, you dumbass. Oh no. Pick or choose wisely. You will your fate will Oh fuck me. Oh man, how am I gonna beat these things? Yeah, here we go. Kaboom. Kaboom. There it goes. Choose wisely, your fate will be decided. Rap rap. Rap rap. I bet, I bet I can pick wisely the next time, though. Watch this. It's going to be right there. Ow, oh, snap. Who's the man? Stave the man. And level 5 is done. I'm fairly impressed. Not even going to lie. Not even going to lie. So, one more level. Find the rainbow shard, beat the boss, and we can head on to the next area. Oh what? Start the you know, start the level right with a boss battle? Oh screw me. And I'm been hit by electricity. Freaking Nidarians. Kick their butts. I'll kick their butts. You have to kick buck. You have to kick some shell. Wow. That wasn't a reference to my first LP. Nope. 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 But we'll uh we'll definitely uh give this another shot, as it were. I really don't uh, actually this is my favorite guy because he gives me the light bulb ability which I can use with Steve the Fish. And totally block everybody's world. It's actually pretty cool with hit actually the electricity ability is good for everybody. I love that. If you didn't get the special ability, you can't save the hamster. Damn you, Rick! Damn you to hell! I wonder, uh, wonder how long this level's gonna be. I just keep telling myself if I just keep moving forward, eventually I'll find the way to, to Valhalla, as it were. Although, riding a hamster into Valhalla would be a very interesting way to enter, you know, the warrior's heaven. Or whatever that means, I don't even... I'm not smart enough to understand the meaning of words from not outside of my own country. I'm sorry, sir. I don't know what you're saying. I only speak American. God. I went to the UK and, and they spoke American. What is this lunacy? It's English, you idiot. It's named for the country you just went to. Really? I had no idea. I thought that was the UK. Yes. Yes, it was. What a technicality to die on. What I keep asking myself is, so I'm underwater, right? How are they breathing? Do they just not need to breathe? Or is it that Kirby's, like, symbiotically linked to the to the hamster and has gills, and so he's, he's breathing and exchanging air, exchanging oxygen via diffusion into the hamster's bloodstream? Is there, like, a, is there, like, an oxygenation port that he's hooked onto? Like, he's... Like, he looks like he's, like, skull-fucking the hamster. And thus, for and thus, maybe there's, like, a port in the back of its head that he's, like, sticking his, his 
Like, there's like an exchange valve thing that he could stick in there, and... Yeah. Wow, I, I thought way too scientifically about that for a minute. Don't mind me, folks. I'll be over here in the corner. Actually, what I could really go for is some Chipotle right now. Yeah, I know, I'm a shameless corporate whore, but really, Chipotle, it's delicious. You should eat some. That's all I've got to say on the fact of the matter. Chipotle. It's what's for lunch, and dinner, and breakfast, and fourth meal, and snacks, and everything else. J just eat Chipotle, don't, don't question me. You have to get a burrito. The burritos demand your mouth be hooked onto them like the lamprey of life you are. I have no idea what I just said, but I said it anyway, so moving right along. Only another, I don't even know, what, probably five, ten minutes to get through this level, and probably, I don't know, ten minutes for me to find the shard, get the shard, and then we go fight the boss. The boss. Oh yeah. It's, it's, uh, it's, <laughs> it's tough time. Oh yeah. I'm gonna die right here, aren't I? Yup. Kaboom. Try again. Don't fail this time, Steve. You horrible, horrible human being, you. You have failed us as a father and a son. Go sit in a corner and think about what you did. Oh, look at that. Got an extra life by accident. That's cool. And we're done. This level is over. Uh, jump? I think I did pretty good here. Let's see here. Yep, cool. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna cut to when I find the uh, shards, so I'll see you soon. And, uh, yeah, I figured out what I had to do. It was pretty crazy. You have to use all three animals in, in level two. You have to get the fish to get electric electrical ability, then use electrical ability to get the hamster, use the hamster electrical ability to get him, use him with the electrical ability to get a cut ability, fly here, use the cut ability, and get the rainbow shard. I decided to cut out all the stupidness and then just go right to it. So, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll cut back, and I'll see you at the boss fight. And here we are at the boss fight. Uh, so I'm fighting some weird, uh, cloud monster thing. And, uh, I'm doing some decent damage. As you can see, I decided to switch to Rick the Hamster because, well, he's just the better choice, obviously. And it turns out that the cloud monster is actually Krakow. The rest of you may not know who Krakow is, but Krakow is a regular boss enemy in... Kirby's Kirby's Dreamland series of games. He's usually in the world right before King DDD, which probably means that the next world is our last world. I do like the fact that um, now in his second form, he's got two forms, which is, which is a bitch by itself. But that his second form, each of the little things you spit at him only does one damage. Oh, I did two damage. Oh, I did two damage there too. Oh, that's ridiculous. When he's flashing, you can do double damage. That's just silly. So I should be able to beat him here without too much trouble, and then we can, uh, we can, we can move on with our lives, as it were. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's see if, uh, let's see if I can get this done without getting killed. And I lost Rick. I have failed my animal buddy, but we'll find him again later, and we'll show him what we're made of. We'll show him that we can make up for our lack of being a good friend. Hit him, Kirby. Hit him. So, uh, yeah. This boss is kind of ticking me off. He, uh, he's definitely poning me, as it were. But hopefully we can, uh... Oh, God. Come on, Steve. That's terrible. Oh, man. I really stink at this. I'll just have to just use the whoa, whoa. Oh, wow, that was so close. That was ridiculously close. I should, uh, I should definitely think about, um, you know, what I'm going to play after this, since we're actually getting close to the end. But, uh, yeah, so let's take this guy down, and we'll uh, shoot him a couple more. Oh, oh, all right, so that's it. He's done. We, uh, we finished the level. And we can, uh, we can, we can move on. So let's grab the power star. Oh yeah. And, uh, yeah. So this has been Steve. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.